is Sierra from Dear Sierra. I'm driving in my car right now. Um, I don't know why I'm filming now instead of not waiting until I get home to sit down and film, but I just figured I would kill two birds with one stone. Um, so this is going to be like a life update video. Um, just kind of like where I've been, what I've been doing. A lot of things have changed. Uh, kind of what I plan on doing and posting on my channel coming up in the coming weeks and months and etc. So first of all, if you don't know who I am, I'm Sierra. Like I said, Sierra of Dear Sierra. Um, I am 26 years old. I am currently in graduate school. I'm getting my master's in clinical mental health counseling. I'm still doing that, even though most days I don't know why I'm still doing that. Um, but I'm pretty far into my program. I have um, maybe like one more set of classes after the ones that I'm currently enrolled in now, and then I can go to my um, in-person residency, and then I can um, be done with my sit-down classes, and then I'll be on to the next part of my program, which is gonna be me doing a practicum, and then me doing two rounds of internship. Um, I could do a whole other video about that for those that are like interested in that and want to know about like the process and the timeline and all of that. Um, I don't want to take too much time in this video to discuss my program too in depth. Um, but at one point I was hoping to document my like grad school journey on my channel um, for other people that are looking to go into the mental health field, especially like clinical mental health counseling specifically, because as it is a very like specific master's program. I have gone through X amount of years of graduate school. I've been doing it 100% online, no in person, um, because the school that I go to is an online school. Um, I chose that for a number of reasons, mostly because I knew that I would have to work full time in order to afford to live in the city where I live, um, or the area that I live in general. I knew I'd have to do that. So because of that, I, I chose to do a graduate program that was going to be strictly online so I could still um, work full time and earn enough money to survive and live as an adult without having to be tied down to a set school schedule, having to be on campus X amount of hours a day, that kind of thing. And then after that, I will be looking into selecting a practicum and internship location. Um, if none of that makes sense to you, like none of that terminology, um, that's totally fine because it barely makes sense to me most days. Um, but like I said, I can make a different video about my like grad school um, like timeline and history and career and all that if you guys are particularly interested in that. Um, for those of you that don't know, um, I have been working or I had been working um, at a mental health office since December 2017. I started there um, as a receptionist, a front desk receptionist, um, and during my time there, the office and the business grew exponentially and then my responsibilities grew um, kind of unofficially first um, without any like title change or compensation change. In 2018, I started doing office manager tasks and then in October 2019 is when I was officially made the office manager and that was a couple months before the pandemic hit. So anyway, I've been working there since December 2017 and I didn't get an official like promotion, title change, salary until October 2019 um, and then so on and so forth. We can make a whole video about that, why I wasn't happy there, why I left there, etc, etc. But I officially left there at the end of September. Um, I was really happy to leave the time that I did. I mean, obviously I wanted to leave sooner, but like I had to like be smart about it financially and not just leave just because I felt like it. Um, so I basically left there um, right after my birthday. Um, and I left there um, and I took a position somewhere else. I actually got an offer letter from two different jobs and I accepted one initially, um, which we talked about in a different video. And then I had to kind of like go back on my acceptance and say, never mind, which was kind of like embarrassing and stressful. And I just felt like, I don't know, it's ne it's, it's awkward. I've never had to do that. I've never had to say yes to a job before and then call them back or email them back and say, actually, sorry, never mind. Um, but I will explain that in a different video eventually. So I am working somewhere else now. I've been working there since the end of September. Um, I don't want to say where I'm working right now just because like, I don't know, but I'm working somewhere where it is very beneficial for me to be working there financially. Um, they are a company that um, is also linked to the company in the apartment complex that I live. So due to me working for this company and me living where I live in my apartment complex, I actually get a discount on my rent because I'm an employee at X company, um, which is super cool, which was like a big part of the reason why I had to accept their offer over the other one because it just 
made a lot of sense for me for where I am right now being like living alone paying my own rent not having roommates anymore and all that kind of stuff going into that I'm working somewhere where I am required to wake up very very early um, I don't know if it's ever been like explicitly stated on my channel or if it was ever like explicitly obvious on my channel but I am not a morning person at all um, I don't think I ever really have been but definitely um, once I hit high school it definitely went downhill and I just like am not a morning person um, if I have something that I need to do I will get up like I'm not gonna like not go to a doctor's appointment or miss school or miss work but like I'm not a naturally let's get up and go in the morning person I say all that to say that now I'm working somewhere where I have to be at work at 7 a.m <laughs> um not wake up at 7 a.m and be at work at 7 a.m um and I work from 7 a.m to 3 p.m which you would think would be like so awesome because you have the rest of your day when you get off of work which is what I'm doing right now I'm driving home I'm getting off of work at 3 p.m um but that getting up part is like a task you know um, I will actually make another video about that, about like how me being a non-morning person has transitioned into this role, transitioned into this routine. I don't have like a set routine quite yet because it's still pretty fresh. I started working there at the end of September and then I took a week and a half long vacation in the beginning of October. Um, so really, if you factor in all of that and all my days off, I've worked there for probably just only a month now. Um, and I'm still adjusting my body, still adjusting my mind, still adjusting. But on a regular day, I get up around 5.30ish, 5.45, 6 a.m. on a really bad day. I have to leave my apartment by 6.30, essentially 6.30, 6.40, no later than 6.40 to be at work and not be late. Um, so that has been an experience in and of itself um, that I am adjusting to, like I said. Um, and I think that kind of covers everything in the work field. So I told you guys about work. I told you guys about school. Um, I, my apartment is great. I've been there since May. So it's been five months now, almost six, I guess six months. Cause it's already mid November. God, it's already, yeah, it's more than mid November. Today is the 17th. Um, so I've been there for quite a bit now. I do still love my apartment so very, very much and i do i'm happy with it it's furnished and decorated for the most part like anything else that i were to add would just be like for my own preference like there's no furniture that i really need honestly when i moved in i had everything i needed already like i had a couch already which i was blessed to like already have a couch i didn't pay for i had a bed already i had like all my big furniture so everything else has just been like add-ons and like perks but not things that i needed um i definitely dropped the ball because i was planning to do a furnished apartment tour shortly after me doing my empty apartment tour like that's the whole point but it just never happened um I don't really know the reason why besides me just being lazy and honestly like I could film one but it's like there's never a day where like everything is in a despiteful place like my bathroom might be clean and then my kitchen is a mess or my laundry is all over the bed or whatever so I've been waiting for a day where like every single thing in my apartment and every single room is put away in its rightful place so it looks like visually picture perfect and, ple and pleasing and that's just not realistic honestly what I could probably do is just record different rooms on different days <laughs> and you guys wouldn't know the difference I'll just put the clips together I may or may not do that I'm in my apartment now obviously the scenery and lighting has changed I'm gonna make content that I don't see what else making, content that I wanna watch that I can't see a one that looks like me making. I'm not gonna be a fashion girl, a beauty makeup hair girl. One, because it's just not me, and two, because like um, those are also expensive habits to have. Um, and I wanna talk about like mental health, I wanna talk about work life balance, I wanna talk about life in general, those tough conversations that people don't have. Um, I want to give you guys more info about like my school and like how that's been going and like the pros and cons and like give it to you from someone that's been through the process already. I want to talk to you guys um, about like TV shows and stuff that I like. I want to talk to you guys about um, money and travel and stuff like that. So that's where I'm going. I am going to follow up on the Kinsey review video. Um, you guys, those are obviously my most viewed videos is the first Kinsey review video and the follow up one is doing okay. Um, so I do want to make an update for that. I do plan on doing um, some videos for like some fitness challenges that I've been working on. I'm definitely going to do Chloe Teague. I've been riding with Chloe Teague for like two years now. Definitely going to try to do a 12 3 30 video. Um, I'm going to need to do that for like at least two weeks straight with no days off in order to like have my results be accurate to give you guys a video about that. 
um i definitely want to give you guys um just more 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 videos and content about jobs and just like corporate america or just like being someone that like does still have nine to five like i think like in this current climate especially with social media it's almost like if you have nine to five then like oh, you're basic um but like people with nine to five still have job like you need to like the world has to run off of those people too like those businesses and those job positions are equally as important in an ideal world i don't want a nine to five i would love to just be like a creative and not really like have to physically go into an office or anything like that um obviously like i'm pursuing a degree and a license in mental health counseling but honestly my true true heart and you guys have to know this is writing i would love to just work from home or work from wherever like travel and just take my laptop with me everywhere and go and just write um i did put out a book of poetry in february 2020 called not about you it's available on amazon i always have mixed emotions about that project because it is what it is but i am a writer at heart um kind of like segueing off of that um my freelance writing honestly took a hit when i was just like going through all of my drama at my real job that i'm no longer at um so i do want to kind of get back into my freelance freelance writing bag because not only is that something that i would love to make a full-time job at some point in my life but also because like that's extra money that i could be pulling in and adding to my savings or whatever so that's definitely something that i want to do um i definitely want to talk to you guys more about freelance writing and how i got into it and like how it's going and like what my pitches are like and things like that and maybe some tips and do's and don'ts i am pretty much still a newbie at it i mean i've got i've gotten a lot of paid gigs and contracts um so i'm happy and i'm proud of that for myself but i'm still very very new overall to the game of freelance writing um so i want to take you guys on that journey with me i want to talk to you guys about um companies websites that i have worked with um and what my experience was with them without being like too like expose ish um, I want to talk to you guys about me potentially writing another book of poetry. I do still want to write a novel. I will write novels. Um, I don't want to put myself in a bo in a box and just be like, I'm only going to do books of poetry because like I like poetry. I even love poetry, you could say. But I've always wanted to create novels as well. So I want to just make so much more written content. Um, that's just like where my heart is and where it always will be. Obviously, my career in counseling is going to be a much more stable career um as far as like just security and consistency and not going from month to month with like not knowing if someone's gonna pick up this pitch or not with a degree and license i knew that before but it seems like the salary has actually gone down instead of up um so yeah i want to share all those things with you guys i'm just coming in here to say that i am alive i am making new videos this video is going to hopefully go up today, the same thing that I'm filming it, just to kind of prove to you guys that I am going to keep my word. Um, and I have a lot of new videos coming up, and I want to get back on a schedule. There's actually videos that I recorded probably two months ago, three months ago, that I still haven't posted on my channel. So you'll see those old videos get uploaded soon in the coming weeks. My hair is going to go back and forth between my old hairstyle and my current hairstyle, because I'm going to be um, posting the videos, like, not necessarily in chronological order, per se um but that is where i'm at just wanted to say that i am here once again and kind of let you know like what's going on behind the scenes which you know what you can see on front street as well um and i look forward to filming and editing and posting these videos and i look forward to um kind of like letting my creative side come out a little bit more um now that i have a little bit more um differentiation between my um daytime job i didn't want to touch on that i didn't say this earlier but my career that i'm currently working in or my job i wouldn't say the career but like the job i'm currently working is nothing to do with mental health and i think that a lot of that had to do with me but a lot of my decision to do that was because i i was working in mental health and i was coming home and doing homework for grad school and mental health so i had like no break it was like okay i'm doing this all day in a job that i hate it's giving me like a bad taste in my mouth about this field and i'm coming home and have to work in this field so I was like, I need to work somewhere where like I can go somewhere and do something totally unrelated and kind of do like, not to like take a shot at the job and say that it's like not important or not like, um, like n you don't need to be smart to do it, but I'm kind of, um, for lack of like better terms, but I don't want to like say everything I'm doing. It's like a very like a mindless job and a very like, okay, like when I leave work, I don't have to think about that anymore. Like I don't come home thinking about why I didn't work. I leave work and I don't think about work at all. Like I don't have to check my email. I don't have to answer to anybody. When I leave, I leave. So that has helped so much with me trying to like refresh my mind and like 
do homework and plan for the future and all that kind of stuff. So that is kind of another driving force of why I chose the one job offer over the other job offer because the initial job offer that I did accept was still in the mental health field, kind of doing something similar to what I was doing before, just in a different location, honestly. So now I will have that um, split in between, which is going to be very, very good for me, I think, especially now that I'm going to be gearing up to be doing a lot more hands-on stuff soon with my residency coming up in February and then my practicum, my internships coming up like next summer. Um, it's going to be very important for me to like have a, like a, a, a line between that to not be so burnt out in both areas of my life at the same time. Um, so that is like super, super important to me and that is where we are right now. <laughs>